It'll definitely help playing the Pac-12 defensive line. It's something that it's kind of a once in a lifetime experience for a team like us. It really shows us what might be the best we might be going against and it prepares us for anything we're going to see. And especially we knew since we couldn't really go in against CU, we needed to get it going against uh, Idaho State because that's going to that was what's going to help us get our uh, pass game going in. And in our previous game, I knew that we just needed to get a stop because get the ball in Jacob's hands, he's going to drive down the field and win us the game. You know, our offense is going to keep putting points up on the board, so we just have to lock in and get our part done. Last season, I think we had less than 10 sacks total, and last game alone we had 8 to 10, and I think that was a big emphasis going into this season because we have a pretty locked down secondary. We're really going to have to focus on protection. That's something we kind of struggled with last week and we've been stressing all week in practice. So we're just going to make sure as an O-line we stay on our tracks. Uh, whenever we're doing our blocks, stay to our principles, and that way uh, anything that comes to us, we're ready for. We've been pay facing a three down all year, so it's something that really helped us prepare. And throughout practice, we've just been able to stress the same things week to week. You know, we have all the heart in the world and all the skill in the world. Now it's just coming down to just establishing our fits on the run. If we get that down, we'll be set.